All right. Wait. All right, well, it's beauty week, so we've got some nail news. InStyle reports that for your fall manicure, we're going back to black. Yeah, lots of people are going with a dark, vampy nail. Here's Megan Fox, look. Megan the Stallion as well. <gasps> I love all these Megans. I know. Courtney Kardashian just showed off an engagement ring she got from Travis Barker. She was also wearing the shade called Jet Black by the Gel Bottle Ink. You see it right there. Oh, I love the specificity. And I will have you know that... <gasps> I am I. Ross! So um, I did this right before I came out, and... I've never done it before, and I smeared it everywhere, all over my white shirt when I tucked <laughs> myself in. So, um, can I pull it off? Do I look like a bad boy? I think you look really good, and it also, like, instead of wearing, like, a playful, colorful sweater, you are giving me, like, sexy businessman who is a little bit of a bad boy. Am I, uh, oh. oh, okay, I've never done that before. That's a first. <laughs> I'm putting the man in manicure, huh? Hey. Yeah, you are. I don't know. Did I nail it? I think you <laughs> did. I think you did. All right. Next up, uh, check out the stunner on the new December issue of Vogue. It's Sarah Jessica Parker. And just like that, she's looking radiant because they are celebrating the release of And Just Like That, which finally comes out on HBO Max next month. This is the revamp of Sex in the City. I, we've been talking about it all year. Yes, I, to I told Santa what I wanted, and he's bringing it to me. Sex in the City's back. Thank you so much. Uh, and you remember, I mean, this article, she goes deep talking about lots of stuff. I love it. It's very refreshing for me to hear a woman say that this is a misogynist time. They were totally, you know, kind of read the riot act for when they stepped out in there and just like that, you know, promo photo. Mm -hmm. And would that happen to men? And I just appreciated that she sort of posed that question because my answer would be probably not. Mm -hmm. um, I think men, we think, get better with age and we have to have that same narrative for women. Mm -hmm. And I did appreciate hearing it from bubbly Carrie Bradshaw just going, look, I don't like it. Well, she talked about how she, she was snapped going out uh, in public with Andy Cohen and she had like gray roots showing and she got all this hate online for having gray roots next to Andy Cohen. <laughs> Who's totally gray, and no one said anything about him. Right there lies the Ugh. injustice. Well, and now I just get ticked off because, you know, it's just let her eat lunch. And this actually dovetails really beautifully into our next story. Okay. I'm very excited about this. I'm very passionate about this story. Check this out. Talk about someone who doesn't know what they are, who they want, but boy, did they make a decision. There's some science news that is going to blow your <laughs> mind Everybody buckle up. The Washington Post reports that scientists have made a huge discovery. Female California condors can reproduce entirely on their own with no help from a male. What? Now, to quote the great Annie Lennox and Aretha Franklin, these condor sisters aren't doing it for themselves. <laughs> but there are some reptiles and snakes and scorpions that can reproduce asexually, but it's uncommon among birds. And scientists call it parthenogenesis. Partheno for virgin and genesis for birth. But the two female condors that produced the male offspring, well, they weren't virgins. They had reproduced with males before and had full access to fertile males, but decided to lay eggs solo. So they don't, they're just like, I'm good, dude. I don't need you. <laughs> I mean, good for them, but aren't you bored, right? <laughs> Don't you, don't you miss the way he nibbles at your neck with his beak? Don't you miss that? Wait, he holds you in his wings. Don't you miss him? Um, you don't need him, but you miss him. I mean, <laughs> this is fascinating. I hope that even though these condors can do it alone, I hope they still flock together a little bit. <laughs> it was just a very interesting story. I love it. I love this. Um, <laughs> I also think that this totally gives me Jurassic Park vibes oh, when yeah. they're like, they can't mate, it's all females. And Jeff Goldblum says, nature finds a way.